if that becomes the uh, the culture then obviously one would like to optimize on that at any cost they no longer giving you know earlier giving is a great thing this is something i, I have a kala cut again uh, resembles this phenomena actually you know how to help others or how to uh, you know uh, give something to other people today how to grab at any cost is the culture is the value is the is the one who does that is the hero is the role model the decline in political parties these are all contributing factors unless you address this you can't really the menace of corruption you can't really we are only approaching from one end of it so this decline of political parties is something a major contributing factor i will come to that later a little more decline in the self help volunteerism the dependent syndrome a citizen depending on you know somebody for example you go to a middleman the middleman menace is a part of this syndrome unless you are able to uh, unfold this you can't really avoid that uh, the the, uh, the the helpless citizen going to a middleman then equity you know no longer the privatization you know there is a recent study by the world bank one of the arms of the world bank which has brought out uh, this very effectively what this has led to in the last uh, uh, decade more specifically then the lifestyle the 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 today the hero in my village is the one who spends money at borrow left and right from banks and anywhere he is the hero in my childhood the one who saved most was the hero and the role model today is not so so that has its, its impact that today uh, uh, today i must by evening i must become a millionaire or tomorrow evening i should become or this year i must become and we are only concerned about this budget this this year perspective rather than a long term perspective the future's concern the concern for the future for the next generation for the world, you know is not the same as it was in the previous these are some of the issues that are really one need to grasp or uh, uh, address if you don't look at these and independently talk about uh, something as some poor man paying somebody to get something you know that uh, highlight and blow it up and then talk about it you know is, is where are we heading for i mean uh, problem is at one is a different place a different uh, issue so uh, as i mentioned earlier the news media uh, what we see this is a way i specifically want to refer to news media is um, some of us who are watching the television you see by the end of the day 25 times a, a, a corrupt uh, corruption happening somewhere in some corner of the country being shown 25 times Uh, in the same bulletin three times, or if you are seeing three bulletins morning and afternoon and day afternoon uh, by afternoon, you see 25 times the same thing being shown and off and on. Uh, uh, the same notes being given, uh, a change in the hands, etc. So that is uh, uh, the, the, all that is personalized rather than a systemic uh, or, or politicized, is either personalized or politicized. The way they cover it. Then the case by case approach, not as a systemic. This is the problem of uh, the PDS. there are some systemic issues there if you talk about individuals individualize then it will not take us anywhere and what often media does is that that is individualizing you know by name of a person or a name of an office the extent of corruption not so much the effects the effects part is not i mean as admiral uh, has referred to and uh, that katkayan has referred in his introductory remarks you know what is it eating into the good governance and uh, the, the very institutions of uh, uh, of uh, the nation how they are being affected in what manner they are affecting you know if, if we if we could go more detail about uh, so that it really uh, motivates people today when you used to talk about corruption you go to any corner you have done so many studies so uh, it doesn't really uh, make him stand up and my god i should do something about it you know that kind of thing it doesn't the way the media does failure aspect rather than failure of a government uh, is how the media presents it uh, as if it somebody's rather than it is a, it's not a larger failure or a systemic issue then uh, you know it's a blow hot blow cool approach that is you know blow it up and then you forget about it there's no follow up what happened somebody you heard you heard yesterday that somebody has stolen so much or taken bribe etc this day is almost forgotten we don't even hear about it what happened to here, to that particular thing and we start another another one by another person so the the hype tendency the phenomena 
the pessimism that uh, the media is uh, what uh, they do as a result of all this the corruption the character of corruption uh, itself uh, the way we look at it the perspective the, the dristikon what i uh, is uh, is altogether uh, uh, doesn't uh, take us far to ameliorate or uh, to address the the basic issues the other way in earlier i mentioned about the political uh, system and the electoral system what i call this we have recently done uh, last year the the lok sabha election we bought out first time uh, what percentage of the voters are or uh, paid money or taken money or uh, uh, you know it says you know you will be mind boggling uh, all the studies that we have done in the earlier is one and this particular revelation revelation is also very fair so the, if you really look at it i mentioned uh, more detail about it in the lok sabha speakers round table a more detail of that is available on our net also the election campaign expenditure the cash for vote unaccounted money that is being spent in the electoral process by giving to the voter uh, for voting as well as for not voting you pay for not voting also the paid news concept you all have must have heard about it by now the, what is a paid news concept how the money without a uh, note being uh, 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 changing hands how it gets into the electoral process the representative character of it is this very important concept uh, as uh, elmer earlier uh, admiral has mentioned about the pds if the political cadre is active then the magnitude of the corruption at the need based corruption should not have come to the level what it is today is a failure on the part of the political parties uh, in terms of the cadres or the leaders both of them is partly the representativeness you know some of them are getting elected with 10% of the people uh, 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 representing 10% of the constituency that they so what do you expect them to behave or to be responsible about uh, so i will not go into more detail because the time is very limited prior question of the elected ones Uh, you all know about what kind of you know if you take the agenda of uh, the discussions or debates that the elected representatives at the legislatures and the lok sabha are under uh, uh, what they do you will uh, know how much they discuss this then the quality of governance the last part of that is as a result of all that is the quality of the governance that we are all so over these years cms uh, we have been uh, to, since 2001 mr vital the then uh, cvc and uh, has approached and be, be, because we worked in the earlier ministries so he knows what we can do and all that so we teamed up and then try to do unfold that's how we got into this uh, uh, corruption studies uh, as a as a research organization uh, he got us into this and then we together we, we developed some methodologies about uh, how do we go about what is that we need to know about corruption etc over these years every year we are doing in a different uh, aspects of it with the transparency india uh, international india Uh, particularly dr tahlia uh, admiral tahliani we have done uh, two studies uh, which brings out uh, uh, this i will talk about it so right now we are doing a conflict of see this uh, like the elect- electoral uh, thing uh, being one of the things uh, we have now come to a point where the conflict of interest is one of the basic uh, uh, the, 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 the it boils down to conflict of interest of people how the the office uh, is misused so i will not go into that that's what we are currently doing in fact uh, you will hear about it in next few months about it uh, after the parliament session is over so the cms corruption study this is very important to understand the reason why i am doing this is quite often we use the transparency international uh, ranking or and we talk about it it's good it, they have done a wonderful uh, uh, contribution in that respect but we need to understand when it comes to india the situation or the phenomena uh, the nature of the phenomena is, is uh, marginally or significantly different depending upon uh, which service you are talking about it so what we developed is, uh, is not just the perception uh, merely perception but it is what we call the pe model perception experience and uh, estimation what is this i will talk about it now the difference between the two is you must understand this because quite often we tend to the cms pe model is not limited to quantifying perception which is what the international transparency international does quantifying perception this is not that 